Hello, this is Luke T. Barnett, and we are talking Galactic Core characters. So, first one I thought I would cover is Doug Lancer, um, short for Douglas. He is a Galactic Ranger. The Galactic Rangers of Galactic Core are a um, group of law enforcement individuals. They're basically like the police of the galaxy. I'll get into them in another uh, video. Uh, for Douglas Lancer, when he was 11, his father beat his mother to death, and he um, was taken in by the head of the rangers, um, the marshal. The rangers hunted down his father and arrested him, put him in prison. And um, Doug, um, being raised the rest of the way by, and, see, and seeing the honor and valor of the rangers, um, decided to be one himself. When he took the oath of the rangers, the marshal took him under his wing and um, made him his prodigy. He grew swiftly. Um, uh, he swiftly rose in in ranking and respect in the Rangers. Some, like Stenson, did not like him. Thought he was a Boy Scout, um, but he, um, like the marshal, um, believes in uh, believed in God, believed in the Bible, believed in Jesus Christ was his savior. Uh, he does not push that a lot. Uh, he, he allows people to come to their own conclusions, let his actions speak for himself, for themselves. And he answers when, uh, gladly answers, and direct, tries to steer them towards God when he can. Uh, but mostly he just tries to be a, a friend, a companion, someone who sticks to his convictions, stands up for what's right, and does what's right no matter what. Uh, this often leads him to... Um, a lot of heartache and uh, people leaving him and um, a lot of hard choices uh, not the, not the least of which was uh, when the Rangers decided to come under the authority of the Empire he refused citing that that was a violation of what the Rangers stood for and so he um, was ousted from the Rangers though not officially and not completely and um, he had to resort to bounty hunting to survive, uh, as the rangers were no longer paying his salary. And um, as far as he's concerned, he's still doing the work of a ranger, just in a different mode. Um, so that is that is where we pick up with him in the first book of Galactic Core, um, Hyperspace Outlaws. He is technically an outlaw from he's technically an outlaw with the rangers. Um, but as far as he's concerned, he's done no wrong, he's committed no crime, he has not betrayed the Rangers, and he is doing what he understands to be right, um, according to the law and according to his morals. Um, so the idea for Doug um, came from the cowboy, space cowboy archetype. When I was uh, developing this story, it was... Um, uh, I wanted to. I thought about the different uh, cowboy archetypes, archetypes: uh, Han Solo, uh, Malcolm Reynolds, Gene Starwind, Star Lord. You know these cowboy, uh, renegade type characters. Now, obviously, um, Doug is not a renegade, but he is in a sense in the fact that he's had to be creative in um, doing what he needs to do to survive without compromising his morals, and that's a fine line to walk. Uh, but um, these these characters um, uh, influenced the idea. And I thought, okay, well, what if my space cowboy is a literal space cowboy? So not the historical term of a cowboy, but you know the idea of a cowboy, like someone who's like had this Western idea who knows how to ride a horse and has maybe has a southern drawl, which he is. He's from the planet of New Texas, where most of the people have this Texan drawl, and um, so I just made him a literal cowboy. And now he wound up being, and my characters, when I write them, I don't decide beforehand what kind of character they will be. Um, Doug uh, wound up being a flat arc character. Now, for those who don't know what a flat arc character is, uh, in normal, in most characters, they have a positive change arc, where they change positively over time, or they have a negative change arc, where they change negatively over time. Um, a flat arc character does not change. Rather, it's the people around him that he influences that um that change because of him. An example of a flat art character would be Wally from the movie Wally.
the, the Disney Pixar movie about the robot. He never changes. It's rather it's his influence on the characters around him that causes them to change. Now uh, this can be tricky because um, you could wind up making a two-dimensional character. And I've endeavored not to do that with Doug. He has his own struggles. He has his own faults. Uh, he has his own desires and and um, passions. Um, but he is a he, but he is the the catalyst of change. Uh, for the characters around him, for the galaxy, both good and bad uh, characters around him, and for the galaxy at large. And uh, that's what I wanted for the character. I wanted, so I, you have all these characters that are scoundrels and like morally gray characters. I don't really like morally gray. I like characters that are true to human beings. Human beings are duplicitous. Human beings are uh, filled with faults. Um, they uh, they're not perfect. You know, they make bad choices, um, they do bad things, even when they're good people. Um, but I don't like morally great characters where you don't never know where they are. Han Solo, um, he had a positive change arc. He was a scoundrel, but he sided to good, you know, he became good. Um, I, but I didn't like, uh, what I, I love Star Wars, I absolutely love Star Wars, but what I didn't like about um, Star Wars was that the rebels were rebelling against the government. Yeah, it was an evil, tyrannical government, but they were still rebelling. And um, I wanted a character that was um, not siding with evil, but he was doing it in a morally upright and even legal way. Uh, and so he was doing that. Um, and so that's what I wanted for him. Someone who could um, go against the flow, but do it in a positive way and um, be actually right in his actions. Um, and he still struggles with it, you know. Um, so that's what I wanted for the character. So that is Doug Lancer in a nutshell. <laughs> I guess some things I forgot. He's a also a gunslinger, uh, which means he's extremely skilled at drawing and firing, shooting from the hip, extremely accurate, um, and he um, can pr process uh, uh, information very quickly, uh, especially in a tense situation. Um, and that's about all there is to him. Uh, the images you've seen are, um, I do not own, they are just images that I pulled off the net that would that I used for visual inspiration for uh, Doug's look. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Oh, uh, if you can, uh, if you want to uh, buy me a coffee, you can find me at Luke T. Barnett, buy me a coffee. Um, you can uh, support my books by going to Amazon, look for Galactic Core. Uh, you can find me, at, uh, my web address is luketbarnett.com. And uh, find me on Facebook, Luke and Rose Barnett. And we'll be, I'll be glad to chat with you. Send me an email, uh, authorlifewithlukebarnett at gmail.com. And look forward to hearing from you.